opposition leader Basaru Diamai Fai has won Senegal's presidential election, according to provisional results released on Monday. That confirms what many of Fai supporters had already been celebrating, as results began trickling in on Sunday evening. On Monday, the Electoral Commission announced Fai had secured 53.68% of the vote, based on tallies from 90% of polling stations, compared to 36.2% for the ruling Benno Bokya Car Coalition's candidate, Amadou Barr. Mes félicitations au président Diomaye Fai. Barr had earlier conceded defeat. He'd been backed by incumbent President Macky Sall, who is stepping down amid a drop in popularity after two terms marred by economic hardship and violent anti-government protests. It's hoped that the vote will bring stability and an economic boost after three years of the unprecedented political turmoil. As for Fai, he owes much of his success to the backing of opposition leader Usman Sonko, who was barred from running due to a defamation conviction. The two had campaigned together under the slogan, DMI is Sonko, and have promised to tackle corruption and prioritize national economic interests. They are particularly popular among young voters, in a country where more than 60% of people are under 25 and struggle to find jobs. Sonko and Fai's campaign was also buoyed by police crackdowns on protests, the government's failure to cushion rising living costs, and the authorities' failed attempt to postpone the election by 10 months. Senegal's international bonds rose on reports that Fai was close to being declared a winner, reversing sharp falls from earlier in the day. However, investors are also wary about a change in leadership to an anti-establishment government. Sonko and Fai have said they will introduce a new currency and renegotiate mining and energy contracts in a country that is set to start producing oil and gas later this year.